Hello family and friends, welcome to Cooking with Chef Khalil. Today I'm gonna show you what I call Nonna's family platter. And I call that dish Nonna's for a reason. Nonna always wanna please everybody. So today, that platter will be great for vegetarian, seafood lover, olives, fresh mozzarella tomato, fresh mozzarella capsicum. This is a party on a plate, my friend. So this dish will be great for Christmas, New Year's, or a family party. The whole family will be happy and satisfied. We first started with big platter, the square like this, and a little salad right here. And now what I have, what they call frio di latte in Italian language, or fresh mozzarella. And this is simply made out of mozzarella curd, and you can get it from the supermarket. It's very simple, and it's ready to go. So you get it like this, and the way how I do it is I cut it thick like that. All right, look this. So it's thick and evenly cut. You see, this already right there looks amazing. However, we're gonna make it look even better. Please, when you shop for tomato, please look for the red round tomato. Will suit that dish and make it all stand out. So here we go, this beautiful tomato right there, I will be using, slicing evenly as I just did with the fresh mozzarella, and we're gonna slide it in between. So we have one fresh mozzarella and one tomato. And one more time, we can have another tomato, my friend. All right, so there is a big story behind the family platter, coming together with fresh vegetable, fresh ingredients, and making the family healthy and happy. So here we go, we got this all happening here. Number one, fresh mozzarella tomato. The next thing is fresh mozzarella roasted capsicum. And check this out. We have this beautiful roasted capsicum right here. So now what I'm doing is adding beautiful colors together. And this healthy, beautiful colors is making that dish even looks better. Here we go, more capsicum and the last piece of fresh mozzarella. And check this out. What I'm gonna top it up is I'm gonna top it up with some beautiful fresh basil, just like that. Look at this. This nice fresh basil, fresh mozzarella tomato, fresh tomato and fresh capsicum. The word and the secret word behind this platter is fresh, beautiful, healthy, and delicious. So here we go. I'm gonna top up this with some dressing. My dressing here is balsamic vinaigrette. So you drizzle up on the top of your... Fresh mozzarella doesn't have too much seasoning in it. So what you wanna do is have this taste of balsamic on the top. So we'll just kick it up with flavor. Now the next thing, family and friends, I'm gonna tell you about is the olive secret. The secret of olive is not to serve it cold as everybody expect. We're gonna serve our olives actually warm and marinated. And not only marinated with simple ingredient. This ingredients is gonna blaze the olives because of the flavor and the aroma. So these ingredients are rosemary and garlic. So what I'm doing at the moment is warming up a searing pan and I'm gonna have a little garlic and rosemary and toast my olives in there. So while my searing pan is getting hot, I'm gonna do some beautiful bruschetta. And this bruschetta are very, very simple to make. It's very simple, onion, tomato, basil, rosemary, olive oil, all mixed up together and topped over a toasted bread. You can slice it thin, you can get a loaf of bread just like that, and slice it thin and toast it till crispy. And then this will give the taste and the flavor to your bruschetta. Here we go, with this bruschetta there is another notch. And that notch is this. If you want it vegan, don't add Parmigiano cheese. If you want it vegetarian, just sparkle some grated Parmigiano cheese on your bruschetta mix. Just like that. So for now, we're gonna make it vegetarian and we're gonna just sprinkle some of this beautiful grated cheese right on the top of your bruschetta and some beautiful parsley. Now, I'm gonna marinate my beautiful Kalamata olives that I'm gonna serve on my platter. First, I'm gonna serve a little bit of olive oil, just a tiny bit of olive oil, and then, there you go, a little bit of garlic, just like that, and my beautiful rosemary that I got from the garden, ladies and gentlemen. This is a lot of aroma and a lot of love. Check this out. Now my olives is marinating, Nicely and warm inside the olive oil and garlic. Check this out. 
this is some love on the plate. So we're having this in a low flame. And then I'm gonna do this amazing calamari. Yes, my friend, beautiful fresh calamari. So I slice in my calamari just like that, all right? And I get my secret ingredients of calamari mix, which is no secret to you now because I'm gonna tell you what's in my calamari mix. It's a simple flour, paprika, salt and pepper. A lot of people like to use cumin and some kick of herbs. After having my calamari in the flour, ready to go to the fryer, just like that, nice and easy. And let me tell you now, the aroma in the house is kicking. The garlic, basil, calamari, all the flavors coming together. The aroma in the house is a real family home, a real family platter. Everything is coming out together perfectly. What I have right now is my olives marinated nice and slow with this rosemary and garlic. And the calamari is frying crispy and beautiful. Now I'm done with my calamari and this is how I'm gonna wrap it up. Take the calamari out the oil and put it on a towel to dry all this oil out. Now my dish finally coming all together. My marinated olives is beautiful and warm right in the center. And this amazing calamari is already drained out of the oil and go onto the platter. And let me tell you, the warm stuff is in the middle, the cold stuff in the sides, and this lemon and rosemary to decorate my dish, and a little bit parsley, and bam! This is what I call a family platter, ladies and gentlemen. Try it at home, all your family will be happy. Vegan, vegetarian, seafood, olives, wine, beer, the party is on!